So as you can see, I just woke up. I haven't done anything to my beard or hair, and you know, it's very unlikely that I wake up and everything is flawless. Uh, there's holes, there's waves, there's all this mess. Things just look stupid, they're matted, and they're twisty. And today, I wanna go over how I fix all that and get a perfect beard. Okay, so before I get into this, I just wanna give you a little rundown of a few of the issues that my beard inherently has. So it's puffy, puffy, smashed down, crooked, twisted, and these are flushed down and it just looks super weird if you really, really look at it. Um, now it's okay, I can I go out to the store like this sometimes, you usually just do a quick brush, but that doesn't do much to it. So the first thing that we do is take a shower. Okay, so I just finished the shower and I just wanted to mention that with the shower, I use Beard Brand's wash and softener. Uh, it's not something I use every day. I usually wash and soften it maybe like every two or three days. Um, if you don't have that, I, I recommend against using the same shampoo and conditioner that you use on your head for your beard. Uh, the reason for this is because the skin on your face is different than your scalp and uh, you want to treat it a little bit differently. And then the second thing is I did not, it's probably just dripping like a fool, but uh, I did not towel dry it because I really generally don't towel dry it for the first. I just do like a quick pat down so that it's not dripping like it was. And I want, because I want that like moisture and the water to be able to work with. So the first step I wanna do is take care of the mustache because that dries really quick and I wanna treat it before it dries. I wanna have that water in there to work. And I am using this brush, it's awesome. It says it's pro thermal and this seems to do it really, really well. So I just take my dryer I got from Rite Aid or something. I have it on low, so I put it on low and then hot and that way it's not forcing too much air. If your hair dryer has a really strong setting when you want hot, you just might have to kind of hold it away, kind of like a singer does when they're building a giant note. So for the hair here, we just want to turn it on and I'm going to be pushing down and rolling like this. And that's kind of the move. So we... Okay, so after I do the mustache, I kind of just push it out like that. And um, and then I quickly go to the next shorter hairs, which is right on the cheek. And I just kind of press those down because I really want to get that puff that I talked about really pressed down. I think beards look really bad when they go wide. So I'm going to do the same technique and just roll it right down to where my chin is. I just want to push it right up into there. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And I'm just focusing right on this area. I'm not really worried about the sideburns at this second. And now I have the sideburns and I'm just kind of scooping it down at a 45 degree angle. Um, but now I have this stupid thing. This is always the case for my beard and I hate it. I hate it so much. So I really want to bring that down. So with this particular brush, since these teeth are kind of spaced out and it is shorter, I can go in and just twist it and hook it and I can literally pull that hair just like that. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I'm actually brushing it. I'm like pulling it out. So I, I curl and then I pull. So I'm heating it, curling it, then pulling. Heating, curling, pulling. Okay, so the next step is probably my favorite and the coolest one that really, really works uh, is we're gonna work from the chin, the whole lip down to the chin and we wanna roll the brush upwards. So it's bringing that hair that's laying down and shooting it up. Hair dryer is down at this angle and uh, it dries it in place aiming out. So that's what we wanna do here.
So every once in a while you might struggle and might get stuck and you want to just be wary to take the hairdryer off and figure out, get rid of the knot and then go back and do more. So when we get down to the long part, I usually treat it in two parts, the root, which is a bunch of just twist and then pull. Um, but I, I'm really working against the skin, so. And then the second part of that, I want to go back up and then I want to work on more of a superficial area of the hair. So when I get to the corners, I just start turning it at 45 degree and doing it there. So I've gotten down and now I'm going over here and then eventually I'm going to go under and just kind of pull that back. So. Okay, so now it's just really, really puffy and fluffy and perfect here. And uh, as you see, I just kind of did the same thing down here, but I did not go against the skin on the underneath. I think it's really irritating to do that. So I just kind of just do the superficial and just get rid of those curves and just kind of flatten it out a little bit like this. But then one last thing I do is I just, I push away the mustache and then there's this little corner here that's always really puffy. So if I, sorry, I just messed it up, but it looks like this. I think that looks really weird. So I go in and I do the opposite and I press that down so that it kind of defines the mustache and goes back into the cheekbones here. So I just kind of. So that's it with the round brush part of everything. The next thing I want to do is take a boar bristle brush and put my hair dryer on cold shot uh, because the cold really kind of like freezes the hair in place. And I still think it's a little puffy and a little just in a disarray. So I want to put it on high and then cold. And I just want to brush down those sides. Again, that those sides are just, we really want to lay those down and then this back and then kind of fluff up and shape everything just kind of a little bit to the next level. Okay, so that's it for the hair dryer. The next thing I want to do is I want to put this utility balm in. Uh, alternatively, you would use beard oil. I use that sometimes, but I feel like the utility balm has just a little bit, a little bit of a, a structural hold to it. Um, so I, I just do that. It just gives it a different feel for me. It's just uh, what I like. And I just put that in, just kind of get those parts. Remember, I had problem areas that I'm solving after that since I know how my hair behaves I'm gonna use just a little bit of this styling balm okay um, you don't have to do this this is a new thing I've been doing but I just put a teeny tiny bit in and it's usually when I I do my head hair at this point and I just kind of put it in those corners so I put too much just now so I put some in the hair and just kind of right on the bottom there and they just kind of slap some up there so okay so the last step is the wax and i just kind of scoop it out with my hand i'm not really sure if this is the right method for this wax but this is what i do and then i just kind of put it i scrape it like that so it's on my thumbs and then I just work it in to each other and then back and forth because sometimes it dries out and it builds like little chunks and stuff so i really get it on there and then i just kind of I go through the mustache and then hit those sides again. So quickly there, but it's still some on my fingers and I just hit the side and then I really bring out the rest and just waste the rest of that wax right in the front. Now, everything was in there. I'm not trying to style it right now. I was just getting everything shaped up and then put all the product in the right place. And now finally I go in and brush it. 
And this just really distributes the product really well. So there's no chunks. So everything's nice and good. Then I can go in and then I can shape because that wax is there, the product's there, the oil's good, my skin's good. I can just go in I just pull and just kind of pull that beard, that mustache, pull down here, just kind of fluff it up. That's good. That is the perfect beard in my opinion. It looks great in every, considering all the problems that I had, uh, they're all gone for the most part. Um, I'm liking it. It's hard to see if I missed any points. It's extremely elaborate and a lot of product I've used uh, for an everyday thing, but perhaps you'll use one little thing here in your everyday, I do. But I definitely don't do this every single day. It just works and it stays like this. Because we're using product, it stays all day and I don't really have to mess with it. If I do see it, like if I go to the bathroom or something, I see it, it's a little tweak, boom, and it's done. Like I really spend maybe like one and a half to two seconds, literally, to fix the beard in the middle of the day. It's just super awesome. I hope you like it. My name's Jeff, and this is Beard Brand. Until next time, peace. And now that you've made it to the end of the video, be sure to treat yourself with some awesome Beard Brand products over at the shop here. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do that and enjoy the videos. Till next time, beard on.